eternal being. But there is an answer, a way to change your dieting and live a longer, leaner, happier life. And you're hearing it now. That's the promise of Zero Belly, the first program to reduce belly fat dramatically, not through traditional calorie-restrictive weight loss methods, but by actually turning off your fat genes and putting an end to the inflammation that causes them to switch back on. Your genes are your genes, and that can't be changed. But how those genes express themselves can be. As Alfredo Martinez, Ph.D., professor of food sciences and nutrition at the Department of Physiology and Nutrition at the University of Navarra in Spain, most eloquently puts it, your personal genetic code is like the lyrics of a song. You can't change the lyrics, but you can change the way the song is played, the speed, the rhythm, and the volume by changing your diet. Leave it to a European to make belly fat sound like opera. If your fat genes are blasting away like Metallica, this plan can turn them down to Mozart. And the results will be fast, measurable, and long-lasting. In a mere six weeks, you will lose as much as seven inches off your waist and slash your statistical risk of dying from diabetes, heart disease, or stroke by as much as 80%. As your fat storage genes go silent, I'll show you how to measure your improving health just as you measure your shrinking belly using new technology that will give you the most accurate picture ever of the state of your personal well-being. This new science is the foundation of Zero Belly. The Zero Belly foods and Zero Belly drinks are calibrated to disarm your fat genes, alter your genetic destiny, and reverse the march of diabetes and obesity. A 2013 study published in the Journal of Physiology and Biochemistry found that even after eating a high-fat, high-sugar diet and gaining the weight and abdominal fat that comes with it, switching to a healthy eating plan can reverse the genetic changes induced by the unhealthy diet in just 10 weeks. Imagine that, a plan that can strip away a dozen or more pounds in two weeks and alter your genetic destiny in less than 12. A personal weight loss journey. I'm passionate about the benefits of Zero Belly, not only because of the impact it's had on other people's lives, but also because it's made such a difference in my own life as well. See, I wasn't always what you'd call healthy or fit. I came of age in the 1980s, just as the obesity crisis started to expand, and I expanded with it. They called it the Big 80s because everything was suddenly getting bigger. The hair was bigger. The shoulder pads were bigger, and most important, the food was bigger. In 1980, 7-Eleven introduced the Big Gulp, and Hershey's came out with the first king-size version of its chocolate bars. Two years later, Coca-Cola bought Columbia Pictures and started placing its drinks and food products into all of its movies. At the same time, McDonald's started to ask, Would you like to supersize that? And every time, I said, You bet! By the time I was 14, I had 212 pounds of oily, adolescent adiposity on my growing 5'10 frame. And I wasn't alone. The USDA's Economic Research Service estimates that calorie intake per person increased by 24.5%, or about 530 calories a day, between 1970 and 2000. Sure, I felt bad about being fat. Sure. I was made fun of. Sure, I had trouble making friends and getting dates. My weight got so bad that the coach of our high school wrestling team recruited me to literally sit on people at the end of matches. But whenever life got me down, I had a reliable friend waiting just inside the pantry door. All I had to do was rip open another bag of Doritos and drown myself in fluorescent orange goodness. Or bum a ride to the mall and follow my nose to friendlies. Food was my refuge from feeling bad. But deep down, I knew this wasn't the way to live. I knew I looked bad. I knew I felt bad. What I didn't know was that if I didn't change, I was headed towards physical, emotional, and even financial disaster. It took a tragedy to wake me up. How fat hit me in the gut. At the still young age of 52, my father passed away from a sudden massive stroke. Always heavy since the time I was born, he had ballooned into obesity in the 1980s in much the same way I had. I was his son. I carried the same fat genes that he did. Would this be my fate too? Well, I'd already.